In the previous video, episode 1, we toured Camp Curry, saw a black bear, and shot on location at Tunnel View, Lower Yosemite Falls, and Happy Isles Bridge. Quite a day, I might add. For episode 2, we'll take you up the Mist Trail, the Vernal Fall, onwards to Nevada Fall, and then back down via the John Muir Trail. Oh my god. So, strap in your boots and grab some water because it's a long, wet hike. Off for another sunrise in this magical park. To capture this event, we must travel by dark. We set up our equipment and wait for the sun. But the clouds never clear, so this shoot is done. Checking our itinerary, the mist trails our next stop. Just 600 wet steps and then switchbacks to the top. So we decided to break and have a small snack. Little did we know, the squirrels would attack. We managed to make it to the top of the falls. This hike wasn't easy, but not once did we crawl. The view from these falls took eons to be perfected. Mother Nature didn't disappoint. It was better than expected. Yosemite Curry Village looks like at 4.30 in the morning. It's quiet. Feels like we got the police to ourselves. I think we might have overcast skies again this morning. Jeez. Well, gotta work with what nature gives us. Although it was only our second sunrise in Yosemite, we were already beginning to wonder if we'd see the sun tomorrow. Or the rest of the week for that matter. Even one magical sunrise would suffice. Park here. This might be the Valley View Park. Might be the line. This might be it. There's a sign here. Yosemite water level. Oh, well, that looks like well, it, huh? This is this is Valley View. That's it. it is. Yeah. Well, good morning. We are here at Valley View this morning. We got here a little before five. Took our time setting up. Second morning in the park, overcast skies. I've seen Valley View in so many, um, so many pictures, uh, you know, on the web, and I just um, had such a strong desire to be here. And started seeing, you know, just little spots of light up on El Capitan. I was kind of hoping I would see some climbers, uh, you know, sleeping, camping out up there overnight, just hanging. Well, we're at Valley View, in Yosemite Park. Starting to get decent sky. Either way, it's still beautiful. And set up here. Got my camera, bag, and got a jet boil going for some nice hot tea with me and Mark. So, it should be a good day. With the jet boil full of hot water, it was time to brew some green tea and just be in the moment. While I usually have coffee for my morning drink, I wanted to be as calm, peaceful, and relaxed as possible for these morning rituals. They're showing up, and then they're showing up being creative. And this is creative. <laughs> we continue to shoot through another sunless sunrise. I mean, how could you not enjoy being at a place like this, regardless of our failed demands that nature give us a burner sunrise? That doesn't mean we'll stop praying to the Yosemite gods, but we're going to absorb every second while here, regardless of the weather. It's always good to chat with fellow photogs. I'm often so in the moment that I forget this, but Mark did it. See this guy? He's a fellow photog who just happens to be very familiar with the park, and he was generous enough to share a trail hidden in plain sight just up the road from Valley View. We figured we'd scout it out before heading over to the mist trail. 
Let's go. Oops, to my excitement, I almost forgot to share this morning some of the sunrise shots. Here you go. Aw, oh, dang it. I forgot the music. Let's try this again. Much better. Sort of looking for a bend in the river. We uh, talked to a local photographer, uh, Mark did. He told us to take this trailhead and we'll find a nice bend in the river. This was help from a friend, the guy we met back at Valley View just a few minutes ago. We know we're close. And this seems to be the trail he was referring to. We're alongside the Merced River. El Cap is up here on our left. It has to be around here. Honestly, we're a bit concerned about a bear encounter as this trail is so dense and tight. So we're making noise and keeping a good lookout. An epic shot. Yeah, right. It's really dense and... There's El Capitan. Now we just need the river's bend. I can feel it. This has to be it. And this is it. He didn't like it. All right. There's the bend. And there is the El Cap. Ha! We found it. And man, is it a gem of a location. Had the sun been out this morning, this would have been a beautiful side-lit shot illuminating the countenance of El Cap. A warm thank you to our Fotac friend back at Valley View. We immediately added this location to our priority sunrise list. We both rifled off some shots and got a good feel for composition for when we return. That's what scouting is all about. I can't wait to return here. Really, really lovely stop. If you're a photographer or simply want to make a beautiful image, this little stop is so worth your time. As a bonus, the best light for this scene is about one to two hours after sunrise, as the sun needs to rise somewhat before lighting up El Cap. So, you can plan a sunrise in the area, say Valley View, then visit here afterward for another wonderful opportunity. Here are the coordinates. There's a pull-off somewhere around here, as I showed earlier. As for our imagery of this location, well, you just have to catch that in the next episode. But we still need to pray to the Yosemite gods for better light tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So it was back to camp to prepare for our long hike on the mist trail. But first, back to our riddle from episode one. What do pine trees and puzzles have in common? So Mark was really admiring these gorgeous trees in, in the park. They're, they're all over the place. And he was wondering what kind of tree it was. And he, he mentioned he thought it was a ponderosa pine. I think it's a ponderosa pine. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking it is. I mean, it, and it's weird. Look at this, look at this bark. It almost looks like a puzzle. It almost looks like puzzle pieces. Neither of us were really, really sure. But earlier today, we actually stopped at, and there's like these information booths along uh, the main uh, paved trails where they have uh, rangers and other employees who are knowledgeable about the park. And so uh, we actually stopped and asked <laughs> One of these uh, folks, uh, it just so happens that one of these trees was right behind the tent they had set up. So we had asked them, we said, so what kind of tree is this? And sure enough, the guy says to us, puzzle pieces, pines, ponderosa. And so that's it. So now we're admiring these trees everywhere we go. So now we have a, we have, you know, sort of a, a running joke about the ponderosa pine and how we'll never forget, you know, puzzle pieces, pine needles, ponderosa pine.
All right, so, yeah, so we're going to come in here, right, walk down. Yeah, go across the bridge where we took pictures yesterday. Yeah, the uh, Happy Isle. Happy Isle, and then follow that up. And this takes us right up to the Nevada Falls, on up to, or excuse me, Nevada to Falls, Nevada Vernal Falls. first. Yeah. first. Yep. And then come back, cross over, and come back we'll do down to John here. Muir. Jantan, and Clark right? Point, and then it'll meet right up there, right and back. right back out. Yeah, nice. So, 5.6 miles. All right, okay. just packed our beef jerky. Our brother-in-law, Paul. Best beef jerky around. And we're going to put this back in our beer locker. I'm going to put this in here. Put that in that. So we don't have to carry that with me. Nice. Oh, and, uh, yeah, we got these. I think that's everything. We got these uh, odor-proof bags of water, keeping, uh, keeping the beef jerky in there. All right, we're going to get some breakfast and head out to the trail. Got our beef jerky, we got our protein snacks, and uh, I think we are ready to go. The Mist Trail is a strenuous 5.5-mile, 2,000-foot gain hike that requires 5 to 6 hours of your time. This, along with landscape photography, will considerably extend that time. A popular hike is to go up the Mist Trail and return to the valley on the John Muir Trail, and this is exactly what we did. Now, while Mark and I are in good health and fit for the most part, our days of being 33 are long gone. We didn't know it at the time, but this hike would kick our butts. Be sure to bring plenty of water and hiking poles, and I suggest packing a rain jacket. You'll need it at Vernal Falls during spring, trust me as you'll see soon. Whew. Oh, we're on the mist trail. Heading up, taking a little break. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit of hike when you got 30 pounds in your back. The views on this hike are extraordinary. While the thick overcast skies are not in favor of the landscape photographer, they sure help to keep the body temperature regulated. This is the Vernal Fall footbridge. We're about three quarters of a mile in with a 400 foot elevation gain. Here you can fill up your water bottle and there are restrooms. There are also some nice photo opportunities from the bridge. Squirrels up here got no fear of humans at all. Look at this guy. He's right here. I, mean, I can like, reach out and touch the guy. While this is still early on in the hike, it's all uphill to get here and it's a great place to rest. We made some lovely images here. I simply sat on the bridge and hung my legs over the edge, embracing every moment that nature would offer. Waterfall. 
It's been about a mile in and almost entirely uphill. There's a small landing just ahead. Mark and I decided to take a break and make a few images here. What we didn't expect was the squirrel attack. Talk about sheer power of nature. That's it right there. That's the way we gotta go to get up to Nevada Falls. without saying watch the squirrels because they are watching you just waiting for snack time mark did survive the attack and went on to make this image afterward as for the squirrel last we saw it was eating a power bar next to someone's backpack thrown to the ground well at least the yosemite squirrels don't fly it was on to the top of Vernal Fall, which wasn't too much further, but quite the elevation change. This section isn't for the faint of heart. Granted, Half Dome puts this to shame, but if you fear heights, this may put you on edge. Pun intended. Just the sheer sight of a, of a cliff going up. This takes you to the top of Vernal Fall. It's only a few minutes on this narrow edge, and you reach the top. We made it to the top. That's Vernal Falls. Top of Vernal Falls right there. This is where we came out. This was right where I was standing, looking down at where we came from. What a magnificent view. Nature at its finest. Just a few steps down from here, you'll find yourself alongside Vernal Fall witnessing gravity move massive amounts of snow melt. It's a strenuous hike to reach the top of Vernal Fall. We're about 1.2 miles in, 1,000 feet of elevation gain, and a total of 5,000 feet above sea level. We spent some quality time here, making beautiful imagery. Before leaving Vernal Fall, we used the restrooms, nourished ourselves, and then headed east for Nevada Fall and another thousand feet of elevation in front of us. Still on the mist trail, we crossed the bridge and made our way towards Nevada Fall, but not without a few stops along the way. miles to go straight up.
look, it's a ponderosa oh. pine. <laughs> After this stop, it's all uphill to the top of Nevada Fall. This section of the Mist Trail hugs the Merced River, affording spectacular views of this thunderous 594-foot waterfall. And here we go. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I feel the mist already. I think it's picture time. We're exhausted. We just got the first reveal of Nevada Falls. We have to stop. Just an hour later, with some 20 minutes to reach the top of Nevada Falls, the rain came. We are uh, we are in somewhat of a pickle here. Had a pretty nasty cold front coming in. Uh, you can see it behind me here, and uh, it's getting pretty wet, and rainy now, and we are just uh, we're just exhausted. We got ways to go get to the top of uh, Nevada Falls, and um, and we got to take the John Muir across this ridge here and uh, from there back down to John John here so uh, looking at 3 three thirty we started this hike this morning it's wet we're exhausted I'm tired and uh, hoping we can uh, we can finish this without any complications we're taking more breaks than we uh, we both had wanted to but we just we just need them you know just to, just to get through Hey, what do you know? Ponderosa pine. <laughs> and another yeah. one. Yeah, and more. <laughs> we truly were admiring the ponderosa trees. They are native to these mountainous regions. But these were special because they greeted us the moment we reached the top of Nevada Fall with all its moody weather and imposing splendor. We have made it to the top. Wow. We are. Basically, literally in the clouds. All right, that's clear now, but this, this old dome was, was in the clouds about uh, three minutes ago. There's more coming right here. And this is Nevada Falls right here. This, all this snow, all this snow melt fall right here at that last waterfall we stopped at. It was late in the afternoon and we were shot, but the payoff felt so good. The view, this air, and the moody mountainous weather all felt so rewarding. We both saw photogenic opportunities all around us. I just needed a quick recharge, so I found a large rock, ripped off my shoes, and just let nature nourish my soul while I enjoy the sights and sounds all around me. I believe Mark found this solitude as well. But we both knew what lay ahead, and we'd be losing light soon enough, with another hour and a half ahead of us, and some 2,000 elevated feet to descend. We'd have to find balance in our stay. But as landscape photographers, knowing we may not visit here again anytime soon, <laughs> there was no way we'd be leaving now. There's too much to see, so many things to photograph, and a lifetime of memories to be had in the very next hour of both our lives. It was time to see Nevada fall through the lens. It was time to fall in love with Yosemite 
high up in her mountains. Bittersweet it was. This part has been emotional for both of us. So long for now, our old friend. We leave fatigued, but we are fulfilled. We feel sorrow, but we are content. We had some four miles ahead of us on the John Muir Trail. Experienced photographers always know to turn around and see what the light is doing. Nevada Fall sent us off with this breathtaking view of its neighbors Liberty Cap, Mount Broderick, and of course, Half Dome. And it was good. Be sure to join Mark and I in the next episode as we head back to that river bend after sunrise and finish the day with a night shoot. Until then, be kind to one another, forgive, and get out there and do your thing. <laughs>